Boys and girls, today we are going to solve problems by using the strategy draw a diagram to classify plane shapes. Let's read the story problem. A Venn diagram shows how sets of things are related. In the Venn diagram at the right, one circle has shapes that are rectangles. Shapes that are rhombuses are in the other circle. The shapes in the section where the circles overlap are both rectangles and rhombuses. Okay, and then the question says, what, what type of quadrilaterals is in both circles? So you have rectangles and rhombuses. What do we need to find? Brianna? Okay, write that down. All right, what information do I need to use? The circles are labeled what? Blank and blank. Jacob? Rectangles and rhombuses. Write that down. Rhombus is RH. Spell them right, guys. All right, how will I use this information? Boys and girls, they're saying that what we will do is I will describe I will describe the shapes in this section Let's say the shapes where the circles overlap instead of saying in the section. Shapes where the circles overlap. By their sides and angles. By their sides and angles. So I can name the shape. All right, what's true about all quadrilaterals? What do you know about quadrilaterals, Aubrey? Yes, they have four sides and four angles. I use the and sign right there instead of the letter. And saying the word and. Okay. Which kinds of quadrilaterals have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Which kinds have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Seven? 
squares and rectangles. Which quadrilaterals have four sides of equal length? Which kinds of quadrilaterals have four sides of equal length, Savannah? Um, squares and rhombuses. Squares and rhombuses. And which quadrilaterals have four right angles? Eli? Um, rectangles, squares, and rectangles and squares. Yeah. Okay. So thinking about all this information that we have, the quadrilaterals in the section where the circles overlap have how many pairs of opposite sides that are parallel? Two. How many sides of equal length? No. Four. Four. And the inside where they're both overlapping, the two circles are overlapping, there are four, four sides of equal length. And how many right angles? Four. Four. So the blank uh, that are in both circles are the shape that's in both circles are what? Squares. Squares. All right, now you can turn to the next page. Read the story problem. The Venn diagram shows the shapes. Addie used to make a picture. Where would the shape shown be placed in the Venn diagram? Okay, the shape shown is the red shape on the outside. Where would that one go in the Venn diagram? What are we trying to find? Where would the shape shown be placed in the Venn Okay, go ahead and write that. Callie, what information do we need to use? The circles labeled quadrilaterals and polynomials right angles. The circles labeled quadrilaterals and polygons. Polygons with right angles. These two labels up here, that's right How are we going to use this information? You need to use what you know about two-dimensional shapes and to find where the shape should go. Because it's not just about quadrilaterals anymore, it's about polygons too. So you have to think about all those things are two-dimensional shapes. So you're going to write, I will use what I know about two-dimensional shapes. I will use what? I know about two dimensional shapes. To find where the shapes should be placed. To find where the shapes should go.
Okay, we score the steps to solve our problem. Okay, looking at the Venn diagram, what's the first circle thing that we need to look at? Quadrilaterals. What do you know about quadrilaterals? They have four sides and four angles. All right, write that down. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Okay, what do you guys know about polygons? Well, what do you just know about polygons? What do you know about polygons? Xander? They, they are closed shapes and have and have straight paths. Line segments. Okay. Polygons are closed shapes. With line segments. <laughs> the shapes in the center are all quadrilaterals with some with some right angles. Okay, hey, Aubrey said a way to describe the shape up top is that it has four sides and four angles. The shape has four sides and four angles. There's a non basis. What else does it have? What else does it have? Okay, it has one pair of parallel sides, but we haven't been talking about parallel sides with these. So what else does it have? Tyson? Okay, if you would have been listening, we just said it wasn't about the parallel sides. What else does it have, Callie? One pair of equal wings. Okay, we're not talking about equal wings. And I don't know if you can tell that it has any pairs of equal wings. It has two right angles. It has some right angles. Okay, it has some right angles. So where would this go? So the shape would go where? In the middle. So the shape will go in the middle because it, the quadrilateral has four sides and four angles, but it also has some sides with angles. So it would go in the middle. The shape will go in the center. Okay, on number one, we said how many shapes have not, do not have right angles? Three shapes. How many red shapes have right angles but not quadrilaterals? One shape. What's a different way to sort them? Polygons with parallel sides and polygons with right